Well, hello, this is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room. And tonight in our stamping class, we are going to have some fun with a background stamp. So before we begin, if you don't know who I am, I am Madeline and I am from uh, <clears throat> Vancouver Island, BC, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And every Thursday I come live to do a stamping live class. And then I will also uh, post it later on YouTube for those that are not on Facebook. And would love for you to be able to participate with me, whether it be right now in the live or, uh, oh, and there's Jenny. That's it, Jenny. You can uh, comment so you can be entered in the draw. And uh, we'd love to have anybody else comment so that we know you're here. And it's always just more fun to be able to do things together. And uh, same as on YouTube, um, there's definitely been more people uh, watching me on YouTube. And that's a great delight to be able to have you join us and commenting. And uh, it's exciting to think that not just local, you can have all around the world. So Pretty cool, our technology. So we're going to get started. So please feel free to hop on and let us know you're there as you come in. And yes, this is a, oh, there's Debbie. Hello, Debbie. This is a background stamp. And this background stamp is all dogs. People have been wondering, where's a dog stamp? Well, did they give us a dog stamp or what? <laughs> So we have this beautiful, large stamp, and it's not just of one dog. If you uh, look here at the uh, stamp set, it has almost every kind of dog. I think, did I say over 20? Oh, there's Linda. Hello, Linda. There's, I think, around 20 different dogs of different breeds. Finally, <laughs> excited to see doggies, Jenny. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, so we're going to make a card tonight, but I'm also going to show you a few others that I've done um, just with different ways to be able to use this background stamp. So here we go. I have it, of course, on our biggest block. <clears throat> and I notice there's a little bit of a slag today. I am still having a little bit of issues with my Wi-Fi and... Uh, Hopefully we can get all that going correctly here. So this is the beautiful rubber um, and I, yeah, it, it is just amazing the detail on our rubber cling stamps. And <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you, tonight we're gonna start with a basic um, card base and it is white. And then what I have added is a red piece of cardstock. I just love the look of white and red and black. It does have a very distinct look, doesn't it? And um, I'm going to show you other things that we can do. There's Carly. Well, hello, Carly. Excellent. <laughs> nice to see you here. And yes, Carly, you have a doggy too. <laughs> And so here, um, the measurements I will say I will have posted on my blog as well as all the photos of the card cards that I'm going to show you as well as the one we do tonight so that you can make one too. So we have the red cardstock and then I have stamped this. Let's see if you can get a good look at the image. Look at all those doggies. And what is really amazing about it is that they have purposely placed them in such a way that you can really focus on your breed of dog, which <clears throat> obviously must have been a dog lover. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is we're going to keep this blank, but I have done several others as you can see here lots of different ones and what i'm going to do is i'm going to focus on one dog and i think in this case hmm, which one should we focus on and the reason i'm going to tell you the reason i'm going to focus on a dog um you can of course just 
anybody to uh, has a dog or anybody that enjoys dogs. But um, what I really thought about for this class or this card was a sympathy card as unfortunately, um, as we have uh, many different doggies or doggies pass away or uh, maybe it's their birthday or whatever and you want to focus on a specific doggie. So I think we are going to focus on, uh, let's see, we're going to do this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a punch and I'm going to grab two punches because I am going, oh, so this is the big one we're going to keep as the background, but this one is going to be the one, I might have to cut it down a smidge. Um, this is the one we are going to actually cut a little bit off <clears throat> and you'll see in a minute how I've I spent a lot of time today cutting out each doggy because <laughs> we had fun on a with another card. But you see here, I'm focusing on this one dog because this is kind of what we call the spotlight technique. And so here we have this specific doggy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little piece of real red cardstock, which is the piece that we also have over here. And I am going to use, did I have the same one? I'm losing it. Nope, this is the one. A little bit bigger. Hello, Marsha. And there's Yvonne. Oh, look at you. <laughs> You're enjoying your last days there, aren't you, Yvonne? Fantastic. You might as well. It's almost ending for you. <laughs> All right, so now we have a piece that fits just a little bit around it, and that way, and Marsha, you got a dog, I think two doggies, if I remember correctly. So yeah, <clears throat> this is a pretty fun one, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the real red, let's hope I can grab the right one, real red, yep, and what we're going to do you could color the dog, but I'm not going to color the dog just because, again, it adds in another color. <clears throat> so for this, <coughs> oh dear, tickle now in my throat. Um, we are just going to color this little bandana in. And Carly, I'm sure you would be coloring it in green. You love your green. Okay. So we've got the green here, and actually, I'm going to put that aside. And now what we're going to do is take the glue today. Oh, your last day's Thursday, like next Thursday. Oh boy, that's coming quick, isn't it? Yikes. You have your list of everything you want to still do before you go, I bet. <laughs> well, we're happy to see you back here real soon. Oh, and then we have Rondi, who usually comes from Alberta. I don't see her here yet, but she is now here on Vancouver Island. So we're looking forward to being able to, to um, have, have her come and join us in our class and, and participate in person. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we punched out our doggy punched out the red piece. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to adhere this red piece. <clears throat> I definitely uh, like having that pop with the white and the red definitely does that. <clears throat> yeah, I bet you. Yeah, I bet it's kind of a bittersweet, isn't it? You must miss things about home and even your own bed. I can just imagine. So this will just leave a little bit of a white. Oops, I gotta look at it here. Just a little bit of a white background here. Not too much. Okay, and now we are going to put this on here. Now, before we put this on here and here adhere it onto here, we are going to put a ribbon. And this is the one that actually comes with the B suite. I love the versatility of that B bundle, the punch bundle. So let's 
look at where we're going to put this. We're going to put this right where this little doggy is, right? So, well, it's not that little of a doggy. I'm going to put it down like this. And then we're going to take a glue dot. And I'm going to adhere that onto here. Okay. So right here and one more over here. All I can say is I am very thankful to be feeling well again because after my live last Thursday, I got a terrible cold and just started feeling a little human. Um, well, really on Monday. So it's nice to finally be feeling better. So I'm just looking there. That looks pretty good. We're going to put the ribbon down. Yep, I think that looks good. And am I going to pop it? No, I think I'm going to glue it because I want to pop. You're watching. Oh, the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Oh, I didn't even check. Is there a Scotty on this? Someone had done up a list. Here's the list. I forgot to write the name because I've been busy helping my mom today and I forgot to write the name who made this nice list for us. I'm not sure. I'll have to look in detail. I know we've had another stamp set, which was an actual Scotty dog. But I think this is more, doesn't it look like a husky, this one? All right. So what we're going to do, yeah, thanks, Auntie. Yeah, that was a tough one. I'll tell you, there's one thing to have a cold and not feeling good, but to be flat out was not fun. Every time I sat up, the nose would run. So, all right. So now what we're going to do, before we do that, where's my white here? I had a piece of white paper. Actually, no, that might be too small. Yep, that one will be too small. I'm not going to do a circle after all. I am going to actually, like I said, you can use this as a sympathy card. <clears throat> which is kind of special. I know when I lost my buddy, that was pretty special. Somebody sent me a special doggy card. That meant a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, that didn't ink up very well. Maybe I used up too much of my black today doing all these backgrounds. <laughs> Let's just press down a little bit more. That looks better. That's better. Okay, you have it now. Oh, no, Jenny. You know what? It's been making its rounds everywhere, and Freddie's the one who actually passed it to me in the first place because it was going around around his program. So, oh, my goodness. Crazy. All right. I think that still looks a little bit big. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I guess it could be using a die, but... I'm just going to trim off a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to look here because we want to cover this up here. So let's put some dimensionals under this. Can't wait to show you some of the other cards. <clears throat> and actually, well, any dog stamp, I'm sorry, I have to get. I love my doggies was with my mom's doggy today and she's got a lab so yeah labs are pretty special doggies too okay so here we go we want to make sure that we get this pretty close because we're kind of lining up this doggy and this doggy so we got to make sure that that ear is kind of there the collar we're going to go down a little bit that way because then we're going to kind of spotlight no we're going to go up a little bit i think that's looking pretty good if you look at all those different pieces that's lining up and now we're going to hmm are we going to do red i think we might just do let me see here i i store my scrap papers in page protectors and I have labeled the top and I just keep them in a uh, stand up file folder. And that's how I 
can easily find my scraps. I think this will work. Just a little bit of red. I just want a teeny, teeny little bit. So we're just going to trim this off here like this. And we're going to glue this on. Oops, where's my glue? All right. So now I'll put this on here like that. Anybody else been sick or everybody else has been healthy? I hope you all have been. <clears throat> all right. Whoop. Slippy slidey, and that's the good thing with the white glue, the white Tombow glue. Okay, so now I'm just going to put two more pieces on here. And this is always a fun uh, spotlight technique that you can, of course, use with a background or even other stamps, but backgrounds definitely make it easy. And I'm going to kind of pull that over, I think, to that side a little bit. There we go. Oh, I forgot embellishments. What are we going to use for embellishments? No, nope, that red isn't exactly the right red. Mm. Oh, well, we could do this, but I only have one left. That's not going to work. <laughs> oh, let's see. What could we put? I know this is sweet sorbet, but... Is that close enough? What do you think, ladies? Oh, no, those glossy dots are pink. I'm just looking at all my colors. Oh, boy. And the tinsel that's pink. Oh, boy. I don't think we have many other choices. Either we use rhinestone or pearls, but I think we're going to use that because it's for a doggy one. You have been well? Well, that's you and Bob. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. So far, my mom has been healthy, too, so that's a good thing. Okay, so we're going to take this big one, and we're going to take a smaller one. Where are we going to put it? I think we're going to stick to just on the label this time, because I don't want to interfere with all the other doggies or put a dot on their nose. That would be kind of silly. <laughs> all right, so there we have... The one card so it's all kind of very simple but it's uh, just a nice way to be able to feature and again I love it because it doesn't matter which one whether it be a Doberman or the Basset or whatever dog you can match it with this one okay so now I'm going to show you some more I think oh right in front of me <laughs> right in front of me. Now, early when the catalog was first coming out, I actually received a swap card. And this swap card was made by Cheryl Hall. And so you can see here, she didn't use it as a background. She cut out a circle and made it the feature on the card. So that's another way that, of course, you can do that, just like we did here, but don't use it as a background, just make that as your feature. So that's another really cool way of being able to do it. And then another one I did is this one, because you don't have to use the white again. You can use, I'm not sure if we're getting enough light on there, um, we can use crumb cake. And I thought crumb cake added a really nice look to the card. And um, this piece again, what I did for that, if I can take this out, is of course I did several of these. And then I just decided which doggies I wanted to have in the focus, in the front. And then I just tore my paper. Rip, rip. And I made sure I ripped it towards me. And then I just took a sponge dauber with the early espresso and just went around the edges a little bit. And so that's all I did with that one. Oh, there's Marjorie. That's okay, Marjorie. Glad you could come in and say hello and join us. 
So <clears throat> again, just another inside that I put here, but it's the focus as well as the background, kind of here, but kind of just a different idea. So giving you some different ideas that you can use with this one card or this one stamp set. And then as I mentioned, I'll get these guys all out here. I spent some time while I was listening to a podcast and I just cut out doggies. And that is the amazing thing. I'm just going to show you here. The way they did it is that they did not hide a doggy's face behind a doggy. And so every doggy, even though there's some dogs that have more length of the doggy and others that are shorter, the fact is that all their heads show up so that you can focus on whatever doggy you want. So <clears throat> that's what I did. And then I'm going to show you what I did with it. <clears throat> so then I took the doggies and I used timber to kind of, well, at first I was thinking a fence, but then I just thought it looked too plain. So I put some of this jute on here to decorate, not the jute. What do they call that special? That's a really nice jute ribbon. Natural, natural look? No. What is it called? Wavy, wavy trim, but it is a jute kind of look to it. And so then what I did is I colored the dog just the scarf or the bandana or the collar or tag. Um, and then I did color. There's only a few that have their ears and their tongues. And I used Petal Pink Dark Stampin' Blend to do that. And then I just put them all in a row and uh, made it into a birthday card. So I thought that turned out kind of cute. You could, I, I was thinking I could have put a longer happy birthday and a bigger one down here, but I just felt that this space was kind of empty. And so that's why I wanted to be able to put my sentiment there as well. <clears throat> so there's a few ideas with one background stamp. And there are definitely way more ideas. And if you have another one, I would love to see it. So please do send me a picture of your card. Marjorie sent us a picture of the tool one that she had made. So I love to be able to see your ideas as well. So there you go, ladies. There's some ideas. And it is now March, March 7th already. So um, you can also go to my blog and check out my classes as uh, they are all posted with the Google Forms and uh, would love to have you join me. And let me know if you're interested in me doing uh, card kits to go as well, if you don't live close by. Um, I haven't done that for a while, but if there's interest, I could definitely do that. So thank you, ladies. Thanks for joining me. Alrighty, bye-bye.